back again with you all right for a short time i have a very pleasant task to perform we have visitors from outside who are just trying to see how the course is going on let me invite them here uh, mrs amita sharma additional secretary uh, at mhrd professor ashok junjunwala from iit madras and mr alok mishra from mhrd we also have professor kannan with us here uh, amita i would like to introduce uh, professor sudarshan my colleague also my head and current boss uh, he is teaching these 9000 teachers the use of databases uh, how to teach databases sir come come on. so without further ado uh, i had requested uh, mrs amita sharma to briefly interact with these teachers she is quite excited to find 9000 teachers undergoing training and we will uh, you see them first okay can we interact with some is 1219 center prestige institute uh, over to you for brief comments uh, very good morning sir uh, i am calling from the prestige institute of engineering science anki jain as assistant professor in computer science uh, it's a great pleasure to talking to you uh i have the some uh, queries and some uh, technical uh, issues regarding to um your projects uh, i want to contribute to in this project because uh, we are working already on the many technology for the virtually classrooms and uh, e learnings everything is that uh, but uh, over the concern is that about the rural development we want to develop the rural areas uh, through which this e learning because uh, due to this effect we can uh, easily to carry out over the thoughts and over the uh, learning procedure to the over rural development peoples but can you tell us something about the php course currently being done DB. dbms course and uh, php that is being taught today are you able to follow what is going on uh, were you able to understand that yes sir from the last uh, seven days we are work we are study on the dbms and we uh, we manage some uh, projects on the dbms for the rural development as uh, for example the agriculture and other students uh, through which the centralized the data uh, we created the centralized data center in which the all the data is to be managed uh, on the server and uh, this uh, database is easily connected to the multiple uh, website of multiple e learning websites uh, can you tell us about the labs and assignments that you do in the afternoon please uh, yes sir we are doing all the assignments on time and all participants are of our uh, remote centers doing assignments on time and we are learning very much from this uh, and content is very good content is very good and the moodle it's really fantastic by using moodle we are getting everything in that moodle and we are doing assignments and everything and, and we are uh, doing projects also uh, madam uh, how many hours does the lab run in the afternoon and all all participants working uh, till they complete the assignment over to you yes yes Yes, yes. All participants are doing their assignments here only in the center. From uh, uh, post lunch, they are doing their assignments. Two to five, two to six. It bit me uh, up to six o'clock also. Sometimes the assignments are big, then uh, they they are sitting there here up to six also. So here is a typical IIT question. Supposing I am one of the participants and I want to spend another two hours. will you be willing to keep the lab open from 7 o'clock till 9 o'clock in the night yes What we can we can if they want we can uh i can see the kakinada remote center over to you for brief comments first by the coordinator and then as professor junjunwala we would like one of the participants to briefly comment on how they spend the day and how much work they are able to do and how much learning they do in the groups over to you workshop is being conducted nicely the content is very good uh, we don't have any issues regarding the transmission of the workshop the lectures it is being very clearly taught to us by professor sudarshan lab sessions are also being conducted very nicely sir in the, in the afternoon session here at kite uh, over to you sir uh, can you give it to one of the participant please yes sir my name is tejas varupa i am from vs lakshmi engineering college for women I have uh, come to this remote center for this uh, DBMS workshop. The lab sessions are going very well from two to five and sometimes till six, and we are able to complete assignments on time and submit them. Over to you. You have been now studying DBMS for last 
one week. Uh, can you tell us what was the most attractive part of DBMS that you found? Over to you, please. Normal forms of normalization topic. Can sure. you tell us a little bit more about normalization? What did you learn? I don't understand normalization. Can you teach us about normalization? Over to you, please. Okay. We'll be having a number of normal forms called first normal form, second, third, BCNF, fourth, and fifth, sir. Uh, they are mainly used to remove redundancy in the data. Uh, you'll be uh, having a number of uh, tables come and decompose data. You'll be removing the redundancy. All the duplicates will be eliminated using this normalization. Thank you very much. I think we have been wonderful what we are seeing. I'm very grateful and uh, continue the course. Thank you very much. Uh, and congratulations to everyone out here who has made this possible. May I now request uh, Mrs. Samita Sharma to very briefly address all 9,000 participants and share your thoughts. Over to you, Amita. I, I, I think uh, she has to talk on behalf of the government to these teachers, telling them what is expected of them in the coming years. Well, no, I, first of all, I want to thank uh, this whole team here. Uh, I want to thank Dr. Kakkar for giving me this opportunity of being here to see what's happening here. And of course, Dr. Farooq, Dr. Kannan, and uh, Dr. Janin Mala who's here with us, and everyone else who's on the other hand hearing us. We've heard a lot about this 9,000 teachers. It's like been a mystic, like a mysterious concept. So it's great to be, uh, to find a lot of uh, clarity and, uh, um, and to comprehend what's happening. Uh, it, uh, so that's, uh, that's a lot of, um, that, that's one interest that I had in coming and seeing this. The other one, of course, is to, uh, to see how this can, as Dr. Farik says, scale up more and we can cover more numbers and cover increasingly more complex concepts. And, uh, it, and then use the resource centers in turn for further uh, diffusion of knowledge. So uh, that's the whole idea behind this. Uh, uh, I, I guess one cannot really say too much right now because we are not watching an interactive classroom in, in, in progress here. But I'm assuming that, that, that as and when that happens or as, as in how you actually transact that lesson, it will open up uh, a huge, you know, leapfrogging technologies for universalizing learning, especially in uh, advanced concepts. Thank you very much, here. Uh, we have another schedule uh, there. We'll go now. Uh, I would only like to point out two things here. One, the emphasis which Mrs. Sharma gave, saying that this needs to be taken further. So 250 remote centers have, in turn, to become strong enough to pass on this kind of knowledge sharing with other teachers in the engineering colleges around them. The second, ma'am, I would like to uh, uh, point out, which uh, uh, Kannan first observed, you see a large number of lady teachers participating. And they all tell us that they are able to do so because they don't have to travel to IIT. They can go to the nearest college in their own town. And therefore, without being away from their family, they can still learn a lot and get empowered. So thank you very much. I'll request Professor Sudarshan to continue with this.